So what? You need my help? How can I help? I'm just Harry. Harry, you're worth more than you think. Your mystery lab. Wait. How do you know about that? Oh, right. Yes. Um. It's you! But wait, you're not real! I'm not dreaming again, am I? Harry, you are dreaming. Oh, for fuck's sake. Precisely, Harry. There's a reason I brought you back into the dreamscape. Right. There's lots to explain, and not a lot of time to explain it. A man by the name of Favitor is plotting to take control of the dreamscape, but slowly poisoning the mind of another man named Dylan. Where are we? This Dylan is Utopia. The exact center of the dreamscape. Welcome to Utopia. So what's inside? Not inside so much. Utopia is the house of the Liberian King. And with the Liberium key, you can change anything within the dreamscape. And in the outside world, you wouldn't even know that it was changing. And why are we here? Oh, Dylan, so many questions. You'll find out soon enough. Just follow me. I'm so confused. Who even are you? My name is Morpheus. I am the god of dreams. A god? You're telling me that you're a god? That is the name that I've been called, but it's not quite accurate. It's not about what I am so much as what I do. I'm not technically immortal. I might not age, but I can still be killed. My job here is to control dreams, and for Vitor, controls nightmares. So why me? Why have you brought me back? You see, our previous meeting was by no means an accident. I helped you to overcome your addictions in your subconscious, helped you to clear your mind. Harry, my meeting with Favitor could well be my last. If that happens, I need you to take my place. So, essentially I'm coming along to shadow you? Well, yes, I suppose you could put it like that. I fear that my brother... Brother? Shit! Um, I mean, uh, I fear that Favitor may be doing something similar. Bringing in an apprentice to replace him. But instead of teaching Dylan, he's using him as a puppet. Harry, you have a gift. Before, with my help, you overcame your greatest nightmares and fears. And now you are completely aware of your time in the dreamscape. You are a lucid dreamer. And I need you to help wake Dylan up so that Favitor can no longer have influence in his mind. Now, Dylan, 
It's time for you to start again. resides in the center of the dreamscape and controls the balance between dreams and nightmares. For Vitor has it. I feel we may already be too late. Ask so many questions. I just did what you were told. We wouldn't have had to resort to this. Now let's test this out before my brother inevitably shows up. So then. Up. Sit there. As soon as Morpheus arrives, I want you to protect the Liberium Key at all costs. Do you understand? I'll take that as a yes. I think it's time things change around here. Liberium Key. Dreams and nightmares have been separate for far too long. Merge them. I, Favito, will be the one true god of the dreamscape. Dreams, nightmares, and surreal visions no longer a family affair. I will control them all. Accepted my command. Soon the separation of the dreamscape will be no more. Switch it off and we can talk this through. No more talking. I've made my decision and this is it. Dylan, take the human while I deal with my brother. Oh, look, Dylan, is it? Look, I don't know what I'm doing, but you you need to wake up. No, you're in a dream. This doesn't have to be the end for Vitor. We lived in harmony for so long. What changed? Morpheus, just stop. It's too late. 35 years too late. We both agreed to this, Peter. We both knew what we were giving up to be here. Don't you dare call me by my mortal name. I am a god. We're not really gods, Peter. It's your ego taking over again. I told you. Do not call me that. Dylan, I'm a lucid dreamer. Look, you need to wake up. My name's Harry. My name's Harry. My name's Harry. You're Harry. You, Sarah, and I all gave things up so we could live here, so we could be gods the way we were offered. And now you've seen that this might be the end, so you've taken on Dylan as your apprentice. I've seen your mind, Morpheus. I've seen what you've done to Harry. He's no more than a puppet to you. That's not true! You pretend to be all high and mighty. 
But you're no different than me. I can't believe my praised younger brother decided to bring his own son into the dreamscape to do his dirty work for him. And you pretend you haven't done the same. You knew. Are you there? The girl. The girl in my dream, she's always calling out for you. What are you talking about? What girl? She's pretty. Long dark hair. Average height. I think her name's Katie. Katie? She's... She's gone. She's dead. She must be. There was an accident and she went missing. We, we never saw her again. Of course I knew Dylan was your son. I've seen his dreams. Now, we've come this far for Vitor. Turn off the Liberian key. Our own children's lives are at risk. You think I care? Would I have wiped his memories if I cared? Would I have abandoned him at birth? You know what, I think you could say the same, Morpheus. Deep down, you're really just doing this out of selfishness. How dare you? You and Fantasos wanted this more than I did, and I knew I couldn't trust you to keep her safe. That's why I left my family, my son. Your son? You're my dad. Harry, just wait, I've no, stop. Just give me a straight answer. Yes, Harry, you are my son. Wait, if you're my father and he's your brother, that makes me his nephew. And if that's his son, then that means that... He's your cousin, yes. So you're the bastard my mother always warned me about. She always said you were the stuff of nightmares. Guess she was right. We both did what needed to be done. My two siblings and I were selected by the previous gods to take up the mantle of keepers of the dreamscape. And now we need to pass it on to you. Wait, no! You're not just going to pop into my life again after 20 years and expect me to become this god. You helped me. Is that just so you could do this? No, Harry, it wasn't like that. Fun enough, I want to wake up. So who's Katie? Katie was the daughter of our late sister. Together we made up the Oneiri, the three gods of sleep. So, so Katie's not even my sister? I'm so sorry, Harry. But I swore to Phantasos that I would look after her daughter, but it was too dangerous. I knew the safest place for her would be with you and... <laughs> Sort this out like adults. I can't be stuck in a dead-end job just yet. I like that. 
but only call us when you need us. I'm sure that'll be okay. For now, though, could you please send us back? I think I've had enough sleep. Of course. Thank you both. I think we should get back to work then. You may well be right. Don't worry, buddy. We're home.